Okay, I now have uh, my access okay, database uh, open. I created a new empty database at this current moment. Right? And on my screen, okay, the desktop, okay, just let me right click this. I have a CSV, right, which is a comma separated value. Okay, since uh, most CSV file is associated with the application Excel spreadsheet, so that's why it has this green color Excel icon. Right. But this is actually a CSV, okay, just to show this. So this is the content. But I want this CSV imported into the database, not in Excel. Okay, so this script is to show how to do this. Right. Uh, I do not actually need this table, so I can just remove the table. Okay, so it's actually now empty. Okay, so you will see a number of uh, options up here. So the CSV file is actually external because it is outside of my Microsoft SS. Now, the common mistake will be to use the Excel. Right? This will be the common mistake. So why? It's because if you choose the Excel, let's say I do a browse okay, to the desktop, you will notice that it will only show Excel. See, it will only show Excel. See, this is the problem. This is not an Excel file. This is a CSV file. So you don't find it. Okay, so let me just clear this one up. This is the common error. Instead, if it is a CSV file, you use the text. Because CSV actually can also be opened in Notepad. Okay, so it's actually a text. So let me go to my desktop again. Here it is. All right. And I can actually now change this to right, just to leave it as the text file. Right. And it is, ah, here it is. See, now I can see the Microsoft Excel CSV file. See, this one, which is this one over here. So I just open this. Okay, so now it is a CSV file. So just now I can't see CSV because it is pointing to, it's only filtering to Excel spreadsheet. All right, so do a quick import. Okay, it is a delimiter. All right, because I need to understand the file. This one is a delimiter. Okay, you can see it is all comma separated. All right, so I choose comma. Make sure you choose comma so you can separate all this. The first line, is actually the field name you can see this see this is a field name see the length all right the length all right the year it builds all right so i will need to click this all right so when i click this this become the field name all right because by default it is not see by default this is not. all right then of course i can still make changes to every single field Okay, if I uh, want to, okay, like for instance, this one, probably I can decide, okay, I want it as currency, for instance, okay, or which one you do not want to import. So it's still very flexible over here. Using this will be a lot easier to change here than to change later inside your uh, SS database design. All right, so I just set this to currency and next okay do you want a primary key this is not a part of the csv file All right so it's trying to add another column of the primary key well actually uh this is not what i want maybe i have my own primary key all right and let's say this is my primary key over here yash id so i can select okay this will be my primary key or maybe you don't have a primary key or so you see what fits your situation all right so i'm making the yach id as the primary key 
right and i can give it a table name but anyway i'll just leave it as the way it is so click finish uh i do not need to actually save because usually this is a one-time job right so now i have imported this 